All right, challenge four, Helion's Entombment. So this is where the brain of status drops. This one is very easy, but still needs some commentary on some of the rounds, uh, specifically on the third, fifth, eighth, and tenth, the last one. So in this one, we are using the combos more efficiently. Um, the first thing we are going to deal with is the adjudicator, adjudicator in the round three. For that one, I, I'm still not really sure what happens on that round. Uh, I think the safest method should be to cast ATB Ward on Tifa. Use this spell on the Adjudicator because I think it reflects the Quagga instantly. There is nothing you can do uh, on that round. You can't be faster than the Adjudicator. So uh, you are going to see me doing doing it on the video differently, barely surviving. It's still okay, but I guess you should try. To dispel the reflect on the adjudicator first and after that you should focus on on the Jinjan enemy because it gets uh, an exploding attack which can kill one or two team members <coughs> so yeah in this second run uh, I don't know what happened I think the these spells didn't reach correctly on these enemies, but still it's okay. Uh, just recast these spells and then quickly deal with them with Tifa. Yeah, in this case, I'm trying just to get max HP for the next round. I played safe there. Now, on the third round, here we go. We have the Adjudicator in this one. So we are, you are going to see me do it differently, not really sure what happens here. I've done this um, a few times, but I think the first, the first uh, sorry, the, the best thing to do is to, to cast ATB Ward on Tifa and then use this spell on the Adjudicator. Because as you can see, I'm using Quagga right directly and still it got reflected. Just in case. Then I'm using Blizzaga on the Jinjang. Take him down. Well, it didn't reflect, but yeah, there you go. Like, I'm still not sure what happens on this round, but yeah, you should get the Jinjang out of the map all the time, as fast as you can. But yeah, it's it's been a mess of a round, but still, as you can see, uh, we are doing it. Yeah, that's that's the attack that explodes on you and Sorry. kills you. But yeah, so this one this round was a, a mess, but still, we got it easily. Like doing stuff we don't even understand. So, yeah, now this run is. It's free, completely free. Uh, you can recover your HP on this one. Uh, use the, yeah, use the Blizzaga. We, we did the combo flawlessly on this one. We did it flawlessly. The Ogre didn't got staggered by the spells. But yeah, Tifa gets the job pretty quick. Now, for the fifth round, for the fifth round, um, for the fifth round, uh, you have to be careful with the wolf. I focused on the wolf. You should get the wolf done as fast as you can because it gets an attack that, yeah. It's uh, pretty difficult to dodge and it aims at all the team members. So focus on the wolf, throw 
everything you have on that one. Increase the the bonus percentage. Uh, you don't really need to care much about the mouse, the the flan because the moose. Sorry, because you can use Blizzaga as a first spell, then use the Firaga, and it will get the job done. Afterwards, keep going with the white terror, and there you go. Yeah, this one was a really good round on my side. Uh, you really need to focus on that wolf. Um, the mouse is not really, uh, sorry, the mouse, the, the moose is not really a menace. So you have to remember to cast two different spells because it will absorb the Blizzaga after you use it once. So for, so for that round, that previous one, cast Blizzaga and then Fill your ATP with Cloud and use Firaga again and get quick job with the White Terror. This run is very easy, pretty simple. Do it. Here goes. Just Need more case. magic. Maybe this will do the trick. Tagging out. Shatter. All set. Now, run eight. This one is very similar to the Adjudicator. In this case, I use the combo I mentioned. Uh, use the ATB ward on Tifa and build ATB to use this spell on the head ties. Don't cast any single spell yet. Wait to build some ATB, then use this spell on egg ties. There you go. Dispelled. And now you're free to use these spells because if not the, he's going to reflect he's going to reflect them uh, not sure I used it I used the ATP boost on Arif not sure why what why I'm doing this but yeah now use the quagga and yeah it, it should be a pretty free round pretty safe if you do as I say Now for the run nine, uh, this will this one could be could go could go really wrong. So in this case, make sure to get the, the job down on the adamant toys. Use Firaga on him. There you go, ATP boost, Waga and Firaga on the adamant toys. He is going to survive. So then go with Tifa. Increase the stagger bonus. Boom, die quick. Whirling uppercut, dive quick. Yeah, so he's, he's he survived. So I I'm switching to Cloud again, building the last ATB fragment, and then use Firaga again. You should really get the Adamant toys done because if not, he's going to get he's going to rage and throw spells at you. And yeah, that was very simple as well. And the last one is tricky. Uh, as you can, you are going to see, I messed up. Uh, yeah, the Tomber King cast a permanent slow on the team, which is devastating, to be honest. So yeah, use the combo, 
Lizaga and Quaga on the Tomberry and then quickly afterwards don't do as I do and switch to Tifa and focus on the Tomberry. I'm focusing it right now but I don't know why I switch to Cloud and do stuff I don't even know what, I, what I'm doing but yeah don't do it like that go with Tifa and focus on the Tomberry use the rise and fall because he is going to get a lot of damage boom rise and fall use the combos with Tifa yeah don't do that just maintain press the square and use dive keep the Tomberry is going to die quite easily with that. I should have killed the Tomberry if, I, if I've done, done it correctly. But yeah, I messed up this round. And because I was too slow on killing the Tomberry, the Joker was doing his stuff and got my Aerith killed twice actually. And yeah, and then I got Tifa with one HP remaining. Yeah, I staggered the Joker too late. Still, I did quite a lot of damage with Tifa. I did a decent leader. Make sure to increase the the bonus damage. Hopefully, you can kill it in one staggering. But if not, uh, the best thing you can do is keep going with Tifa. I was trying to build ATB here to heal Tifa but I was too late and yeah at this point I was pretty much a dead one he healed but yeah somehow I thought about using uh, something I went with uh, level 2 blizzard make sure to use it on the ward because he's going to stagger easily with one or two of them i don't know how i yeah i don't know what i'm doing at this point but what you should do is cast a spell as you can see it's a, a messy is a, a mess of a round but still i got it use blizzard then staggered then build atb again use blizzard blizzara there you go Keep building the ATBs. I just need one more. Yeah. You also have to be lucky with the Joker attacks. So yeah, there you go, another one. And I got my limit, so that's how I got work from him. But I could have, yeah, I got back there. Lizara and he's going to be staggered so at that point you can pretty much kill it I did an overkill and used the limit but yeah as you can see it was a messy round but you can do it much better than me I still do it so yeah that's pretty much brutal challenge 4 and finally we get the magnify the third one and after this i'm going to farm some ap to max out that third magnify because we're going to need it on challenge 5. <laughs> 